We're busy um, getting ready for an exhibit that we hope to open this spring. Um, so we're working on the artifacts, we're cleaning them up, conserving them, stabilizing them, doing research on some of the materials um, so that we have some, some good text to add. And one of those objects is this wonderful, uh, unique silver, um, what's known as a teething stick. And um, it incorporates a whistle, which you can see uh, there's an air hole on one side and rattles, these little uh, rings around the, um, the stick. And on the end is a, just a little piece of red coral. It would have been much longer. Now this is very, very special because it represents a young child, a child between the ages of six months and, and one and a half years, um, he's, who's teething. Um, it, since Roman times, the coral was thought to keep away evil spirits, um, to, to protect children. There was also some kind of thought that because coral hardens as it's taken out of water, that it would have the same kind of effect with teeth. You know, it would create, make your teeth hard and strong. And so um, it was sort of a natural to give it to teething children because the coral was thought to soothe the gums. These Objects apparently were special gifts to, for children at the time of their christening. So the, um, they're, you know, being silver, they would have been expensive. And having this Mediterranean coral, you know, it makes it a very special object. Not the kind of thing that a poor child would probably have. Very few things representing children show up in the early context because of course there weren't many children but also because children aren't documented but by finding this wonderful object um, you know we do now have um, the presence the documented presence of a young child and from my research it does appear that this is one of the earliest ones um, known this context is the John what we call the John Smith well um, it was filled by 1610. So this must have been a child that was either in the Gates fleet of 1609 or who had been shipwrecked in Bermuda and arrived also um, that spring of 1610, right before the well was filled. When this object first came out of the well, it was very encrusted um, with a, a sort of a, a coppery encrustation because I think it, it does have, it's sort of a, a lower grade silver that does have some copper content in it. So a very special object and I'm really looking forward to getting this on pub uh, in public view for everybody to see.